Guys, I found some of the most rarest Pokemon card booster packs you will ever see in your entire life. And yes, I know I've said that in the past, but I'm serious about these packs. These packs right here will literally blow your mind. Let's get into them, shall we? What's good everybody, Dark Cool here, back at it again with another video. Now in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we got a mysterious package right in front of me. It has a sticker that says, handle with care, do not bend, thank you. You guys want to know why? Because inside this package contains the rarest Pokemon card booster packs you will ever see in your entire life. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel like I've seen these booster packs already, but I could be 100% wrong. But I feel like I've opened up these packs already, or I've seen the artworks somewhere. You feel me? If I cannot remember, let me know in the comments down below where you've seen these packs. But guys, in today's episode of where we find some weird packs and open them up on the channel... We're not going to be comparing these with real booster packs. You want to know why? Because I did not just buy a single set. I bought a double set of these packs, which means we are opening up double the amount. You feel me? So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the ghoul army, and welcome and if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag Ghoul Army, you could be featured in a video like these individuals that you see on the screen. But guys, I'm excited to jump right into this as I'm pretty sure you guys are excited as well. You feel me? So ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and show you guys. Actually, before I show you guys the packs themselves, let me give you some knowledge on where I got them from. You feel me? I got them from Etsy. And I believe I paid 34 US dollars for all of the packs that you are about to see. And in every single pack, ladies and gentlemen, there is a guaranteed ultra rare in every pack. So hopefully, hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, we get our money's worth when it comes down to opening up these packs. There's only one way to find out, and that is to actually open them up. So guys... Let me go ahead and take them out of the packaging. I don't want to reveal the artworks just yet because they are, like I said, bro, they are absolutely beautiful. And I'm pretty sure you guys can agree they are beautiful. But they also included an extra, like a little thank you gift. It looks like there is a code card. And y'all already know, every time there is code cards involved, you the ghoul army gets to keep it so guys now that we got the introduction out of the way we are no longer going to need the package itself because it's useless bro it is useless so guys let's get into this bonus give you guys the code card because y'all already know you guys deserve it all you feel me so it looks like we got ourselves a little sticker as well so let's check out the sticker it is a war turtle sticker which is absolutely beautiful check that out and then obviously i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the code cards that are included in this package we got ourselves a jolteon gx and then we got a sword and shield pack as well as a one pack EV, which is obviously the check lane blister, I believe. Now, I'm not sure what these are, so let's see. Thank you for your support. Stay safe and healthy. Enjoy. And this is from the homegirl, Joanna. I don't know her personally. This was a random purchase. So, guys, this is a first look at these packs. I don't know if they're worth it. You feel me? Like I said, I bought these blind without telling anybody who I am. You feel me? Not that it matters. But guys, it looks like we also, ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the pack arts for these booster packs. They are absolutely insane. And I love that she included the pack arts in like a card form, if that makes any type of sense. So we got the homie Charizard on deck, ladies and gentlemen, with Charmander, which obviously means 
Charmander will eventually turn into this mean looking Charizard to the right. And then we obviously have Squirtle turning into Blastoise right there, man. I love this. I absolutely love this. And finally, we got the Bulbasaur, which obviously turns into a Venusaur once you hit level 36 ladies and gentlemen so there we go we have all three pack arts that we are opening up in this video before we get into the packs ladies and gentlemen here is the question of the day which starter do you like the best we are going off their final evolution so if you guys like charizard let me know if you guys like blastoise let me know or if you guys love venusaur let your boy know for me personally i'm gonna have to go with my boy venusaur it doesn't get a lot of love when it comes to the Kanto starters because when people think of Kanto, obviously their number one is Charizard and their number two is Blastoise to counter that Charizard, you feel me? So I personally would choose Venusaur, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur over the others, you feel me? So those are the pack arts we are opening. They are absolutely beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. So here are the packs themselves. This is the first lot right here. And then it looks like we have the second lot right there. So we are obviously going to start things off with the first lot, ladies and gentlemen. And look at these packs, bro. For some reason, I thought the left side of the pack arts was like a robotic eye, if that makes any type of sense. From afar, that's what it looks like. But when you look at it up close and personal, you can obviously tell that it is the starter's for the final evolution themselves so it looks like each pack comes with 10 additional game cards and it kind of feels like they are all sleeved up oh boy oh boy it looks like not all of them are glued properly but it's all good it doesn't matter because as long as the pack arts are not damaged i don't care because i honestly want to preserve these pack arts they are just way too beautiful to throw away so ladies and gentlemen we are now going to crack into the first booster pack we got the star of the show ready with the bulbasaur and venusaur on the card stand and without further ado let's see if these packs were worth it so like i said each set was like 17 dollars for all three pack arts and i bought double sets so a total of 34 we're going to be basing the values on the ultra rares or any good cards that we get within the pack so let's go ahead and start things off with the charmander booster pack it looks like we get a code card in every single booster pack which makes it feel like a more genuine booster pack you feel me so here is an evolutions code card right there and let's get down to business ladies and gentlemen so we got ourselves a grimer an alolan grimer and before we continue if you put sleeves in every single card that already gets a thumbs up for me i mentioned that in the previous custom pack opening if you put sleeves in every single card automatic thumbs up 100 percent so alrighty guys let's continue we got the alolan grimer fletchinger crab brawler so it looks like we got you know your typical ordinary booster pack of commons uncommon action we got ourselves a rare dreadnought right there pretty pretty cool we got a reverse magnemite a reverse solomons which is a rare so so far nothing of value just yet but we're going to go ahead and continue. We got a Snorlax Rare, ladies and gentlemen. A Guzzlord Holographic, which indeed is an Ultra Beast. And then, ooh, it looks like we still got a few more cards. We got a Pinsir GX, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out straight from Hidden Fates, y'all. This is a Hidden Fates Ultra Rare. And the final card is is you received an extra bonus card i don't know what that means but i'm excited bro i am excited because i'm not gonna lie the pincer it was kind of bummed out because this pincer is like your typical one dollar ultra rare that people like to include in custom packs but i don't know this surprise card it might be worth it you feel me but then again every time you buy custom packs it is 100 chance like a real booster pack you're not always going to get like crazy expensive first edition charizards in your packs you feel me it might be a rare or it might be a hollow or an ultra rare you may never know but guys 
Let's see what our surprise card is. Let's get it, man. One, two, three. It's a Del Maze V card, ladies and gentlemen. So we got double bangers, double action, double ultra rares in the first pack. That is a very good sign. And I'm definitely going to take out the pincer for the Del Maze because I love Del Maze more than pincer. I'm not going to lie. I know there's a lot of huge pincer lovers out there because pincer is a triple OG. You feel me? It's from the Kanto region. But guys... I love my ghost types, you feel me? I absolutely love them, and this anchor is no different. I love it with all my heart. So now that we got the Charmander and Charizard booster pack out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start things off with the Squirtle and Blastoise booster pack, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see exactly what we get in this next pack so far the first pack it was all right you feel me it was all right it obviously wasn't the best you know no crazy expensive ultra rares but like i said you can't always expect good cards when you're opening up pokemon packs it doesn't matter if they're custom or if they're real packs straight from the store you feel me so here is the code card for the next booster pack we got a steam siege y'all already know we don't mess with steam siege on this channel so you guys can have that and i hope you get some banger pools, even though there's nothing banger in that set. So let's go ahead and continue, guys. We got an Ekans, a Lolan Geodude, Oranguru, Vespaquin, Genesect, Torkoal, Stantler, Ultra Necrozma. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a very nice piece right there. And we got a Polo Sand GX, ladies and gentlemen. Should I take down the Delmis? Like I said, bro, I love my ghost types so we're gonna go ahead and do it so let's go ahead and put that as a star of the show i'm actually gonna put the holographics in the pool pile because we got to show these hollows some love ladies and gentlemen so let's go ahead and put our ultra beast on the card pile because technically they are pools if you're opening up real packs you got to count them hollows for your pools but ladies and gentlemen we are down to our final booster pack of the first lot and it is my favorite one, Bulbasaur and Venusaur. Let's get it, and let's hope. Actually, we can just open it from the top, or should I just... Let's just peel it, man. Let's just peel it just so it can seem like we're opening up a real Pokemon card booster pack. Even though it is a real one, it's just custom. So it looks like we got ourselves a code card up first. Let's go ahead and give you guys the code. It is a collector's chest of Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble, ladies and gentlemen. So let me know what you guys get right there. I'm pretty sure all you get are the promo cards anyways. So let's get it, man. We got a Rhyhorn, Hitmonchan, Cloyster. We got Kevin Durant in the cup, my guy. We got a Silcoon, Heliolisk, and ooh, we got a Latias Prism. We're going somewhere, so that means we're going to have a potential banger, ladies and gentlemen, a double banger so we got a lot of us and then we got a stone journer why do i always butcher this pokemon's name i have no idea but it happens it just happens but ladies and gentlemen we got ourselves a double banger in our final pack which is a great way to end things off but we're not done just yet we're not going to switch the star of the show because i prefer paulo sand over this rock type right here latias it obviously is not gonna have a ton of value or at least i don't think so most prisms are very very cheap in today's world or in today's time i should say so let's go ahead and put these down in the pool pile and like i said that was the final pack of the first set which was a bulbasaur and venusaur so ladies and gentlemen we still got three more packs left y'all three more packs left before we get into these let me know in the comments down below or in your head you don't even have to comment which one of these packs will have the best pool is it going to be charizard bulbasaur or venusaur or blastoise ladies and gentlemen think of it in your head or you can comment down below either or works but we're obviously going to start things off with the charmander and charizard and let's hope we get a banger bro let's hope we get a banger maybe like a triple banger or something like that or maybe even a god pack i don't know bro i don't know the possibilities 
are endless when it comes to these custom packs. So there is a code card for you guys right there. And let's continue the opening, y'all. We got a Purloin, Voltorb, Fortress. I believe I said that wrong, but it's all good. It doesn't matter. We got a Salazzle, Wailord, Zapdos, Gengar, Dialga, and we got Donald Trump's Wall. Holographic, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, we got a Starmie Ultra Rare, and I believe this one is from Hidden Fates as well. So we got a Starmie GX card right there. Very, very nice. And it looks like we got another surprise card, baby. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Let's see what we get. Surprise, surprise. Let's hope for something amazing. One, two, three. It's a Weavile Full Art. And here is a little tip. This indeed is a secret rare. If you guys don't believe me, just look at the set number. 238 out of 2. 36 now obviously this secret rare it's not worth much you feel me because it's part of like a subset almost not entirely but it's like a separate set of full art trainer cards with their pokemon that are considered secret rares but they're not valuable you feel me but this is a very very nice piece because i love the artwork on this card it is absolutely beautiful and i'm not gonna lie i really love these surprise cards it's actually very very unique and it makes the packs a lot more fun to open up so let's go ahead and move on to the next booster pack unfortunately we still haven't gotten anything to take down our little sandcastle boy right here which is unfortunate because i believe our little sandcastle boy is worth like two bucks or something like that so let's go ahead and get into the next pack of bulbasaur and venusaur and my camera it looks like it's about to die. I'm staring at the battery and it looks like it's about to end its life right now. So let's go ahead and try and speed things up. We got ourselves another code card of Steam Siege, ladies and gentlemen. We got a Pikachu, Score Bunny, Melton, Araquanid, Mudsdale, Grimer, Crobat, Titanol. I actually really love this Pokemon. And then we got a Zacrom, Holographic, followed by a Cramorant V card, ladies and gentlemen. So that's actually very very cool for the sake of v cards being new let's just go ahead and switch out the star of the show because v cards are from sword and shield which is the newest set so let's go ahead and put that as the star of the show final pack guys let's see if there's like a full arts or something in this final pack here is the code card right there we got a sword and shield booster pack let's go man Pucciana, slugma doug trio onyx Cothagrigus, I love that Pokemon, man. We got a Haxorus, Electivire, Magikarp, and we got a shiny Metagross Full Art. I told y'all the Full Art was coming. Although this is like a promo card, it's still a banger, bro. It is a shiny Metagross Full Art, bro. That is beautiful. Definitely going to be the brand new star of the show. Now, are these packs worth it? I have no idea. I'm going to let you guys be the judge of these packs because it all comes down to preference. If you guys enjoy custom packs or if you guys don't enjoy. For me, I had a lot of fun opening up these custom packs and getting ultra rares to add to my collection. So it definitely gets a thumbs up in my book. If you guys think the same way, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like I said, I picked these packs up from Etsy in case you guys were curious. And then obviously we have the star of the show, which was a Metagross shiny full art. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Before I go, though, just look at these artworks. They are beautiful, man. They are beautiful. Alrighty, guys. Catch y'all later. Peace.